Trees are majestic that stand steady and tall, with their layers of branches and their thick foliage taunting the winds. They could last for years withstanding the whims of the weather and the tests of time. They provide shade and shelter. Likewise, they are sources of inspiration and hope. They stand so because they are grounded, the roots digging into ground, firmly connected to the earth that nurtures them, reaching to the springs of water that flow beneath the surface, gathering into the streams that form the rivers, cutting across valleys and mountains. In this refreshing environment would rise communities that discover abundant sources and means of livelihood. They thrive, provided by the life-sustaining relationship that has been established by nature. Some of the trees served as materials for the houses of people, for the centers that were used by them, the churches and the convents and schools, the pioneer mission stations are testaments to this. The first Philippine SVD mission is in San Isidro, Abra, which nestles on the Cordillera mountain range. Presently, the Philippine SVD North, SVD PHN, yet administers several mountain missions, even as many have been turned over to the local churches. Our churches are not as full. Gadgets have replaced prayer books. Relationships are shallow applications and suitability. We dig into the ground not to gain a stronghold so we could stand firm to bear the burdens and carry the responsibilities of life and ministry but to discover earthly treasures that weaken us and shift our values. The call to belong and be relevant beckons. We are people of this generation. Do we get to transform ourselves to being new religious and missionaries? Has the mission changed? Or we only have to renew ourselves? Be a brighter light, a stronger leaven, but how? Perhaps it is not our personal life, but the life we have been consecrated to. That would matter, not just the call we are aware of, but our response to it. Joyfully, the caller has not changed. Even the message remains. The call to salvation, the message of love. The constant companion, the teacher and master, has never abandoned us. Let us feel our roots gripping vigorously the ground, reaching to the springs, refreshed and renewed. Not so much for the majesty, but for the life we live and share. As divine word missionaries, witnesses to the word, bearers of good news and companions of the divine word. And the trees will grow. We will plant the seeds, care for them, see that they sprout and develop into sturdy trees, raising to the sky and touching the heavens. And we will pray, preach and live the gospel, witnessing to the word. We are urged by the love of Christ to be rooted in his word and committed to his mission. As we root ourselves in the word, we recognize more and more the depth of that love with the result that we ourselves fall in love with Christ and make him the center of our lives.